Colleen and Dan, the cautious twins, live in our neighborhood. They ask their mother where to play, as all good children should. They tell her who their playmates are, and let her meet them too. For happy tots are careful tots, and they know what to do. One Saturday, Doreen and Dan were called in from their play. They hurried to their mother's call to hear what she would say. She asked them, please go buy some bread, and sent them on their way. She knew they'd go straight there and back, and surely would not stray. So off they went, the cautious twins. They knew the rules to heed. No matter what was offered them, they'd not give in to greed. Most people love a little child. Some grown-ups, though, are bad. The bad ones look like good ones, like any mom or dad. So that is why you must not talk to strangers that you meet. Don't let them give you any toys or anything to eat. If someone that you do not know should offer you a treat, Remember how he looks and talks, but run fast up the street. Upon returning from the store, their friends were at the gate. They asked them to the park to play. The twins thought that was great. They'd asked their mother anxiously. They'd really like to go. She told them, yes, be back at noon. You must be prompt, you know. It's wonderful to play with friends, to run and swing and climb, to slide and yell, and all the while remembering the time. When to the restroom you must go at playground, parks, or zoo, be sure to ask a cautious friend to go along with you. Don't stray away from all your friends toward bushes or the trees. Stay near the crowds, the slide, the swings, and Mother will be pleased. It's time to go. Doreen and Dan start home along the street, each watching cars and signals, too. They hurry home to eat. Along the way, a stranger waves just off the avenue. The twins remember mother's words. They don't forget, would you? A person may invite you to a house, garage, or shed. Say no to him and run and tell your mother what he said. Doreen and Dan, the cautious twins, run home as good kids do. For home's the very safest place when danger threatens you. Back home at noon, right smack on time. The twins are hungry, say. But better yet, they get to go to the local matinee. Their mother says it's their reward for doing what she asks, remembering rules and helping her with little household tasks. Doreen and Dan are young for shows, that is, to go alone, so Sister Joan will go with them, a sort of chaperone. It's fun to see a movie show with pirates, Indians, kings, but shows are always pretty dark, and bad people may try bad things. So when you go to see a show, if someone touches you, get up and move away from there and tell the usher too. Don't let a stranger pat your hand or straighten up your clothes. Good strangers let a child alone, as everybody knows. And when they left the show for home, they met some friends of Joan. Although she shouldn't, Joan then told the twins to go on home alone. Doreen and Dan walked on their way. They promised not to roam. A man walked up to them and said, he'd come to take them home. If someone tells you he was sent to take you home to dad, skedaddle away as fast as you can. Perhaps that man is bad. Don't go away with him at all, although he asks you to. If he should grab you, scream so loud that help will come to you. Now that was close, too close for sure. That really was a fright. They had to hurry on their way, for it was almost night. A car drove up, and in it was the cutest puppy dog. The man said, come and see my pet. And Dan was all agog. Doreen recalled the rule for this. Then Dan remembered, too. If you should see a dog like this, would you remember, too? If someone in a motor car should offer you a ride, scream loudly as you run away, but do not get inside. If you can read the license plate, repeat it in your mind, or write it down upon the ground with anything you find. But look where this had left the twins. The alley looked real great. Should they go through and get home fast, it's growing dark and late. But mother's words came to their mind, and though they'd like to go, they knew that this was time to stop, the best time to say no. It's never safe in alleys or empty buildings, too. It's always best to travel where mother tells you to. So even though the sun was low, they went the longer way, 
for safety first they knew was best at any time of day. And since they learned so very well these lessons, every one, here they are, all safe and sound to share the family fun. And so you see, Doreen and Dan knew all the things to do. They practice all the rules they learned. 